Hi, I'm your host, Sofnan Bharti, and welcome to our series on tech predictions for 2021. Our next oracle is Victor Farsik, Principal DevOps Architect and Author at Codefresh. Uh, Victor, first of all, it's great to have you on the show. Likewise. Happy to be here. Now it's time for you to grab your crystal ball and tell me what predictions do you have for 2021? So I, I don't have typical predictions like we will have flying cars and we will go to Mars and all those things. I tend to keep it more down the earth. And one potentially most important prediction, I think, is that we are going to go back towards focusing on developers. I think the developers were neglected since the emergence of Kubernetes. Everything is somehow focused on sysadmins, operators, very complicated stuff and complicated for a good reason. Uh, I'm not saying that we should try to avoid that complexity, but in last years, we somehow neglected developers. And when I say we, I mean we as industry. And now I see a lot of focus going back, and especially in 2021, towards uh, shifting left, towards developers. How can we make, them, make their lives easier? Maybe create environments on the fly, maybe help them, help them do everything that they do. Uh, they were neglected and they're now again focused. And we can see that with Gitpod, for example, code sp uh, GitHub code spaces, many different other projects that are emerging and really are going to get a lot of traction in 2021. And the second prediction would be GitOps going mainstream. So far, everybody knows about GitOps, everybody heard about GitOps. We have a couple of tools, but what is really missing now and what is coming in 2021 is that being widely adopted. And by that, I mean that all the tools will have to take that approach, not only the few tools that are built purposely for GitOps, but everything else. So when I see a UI, for example, that has a button that says, do this, do that, deploy somewhere, that button will have to change. It will have to start pushing to Git and letting some other tools change the, the actual state in, inside of our cluster. So GitOps is going to continue being huge, but now it will start being adopted as a philosophy from basically almost all other tools. And that means that we are finally going to start seeing an ecosystem around GitOps and not only a few tools that are built purposely for that. And the third one, and this is going to sound weird, is that I think that Kubernetes is going to start disappearing. And by disappearing, what I really mean is we will stop seeing it. It will become, it will stay relevant, it, it will continue existing for years to come, but we will stop seeing it because platforms will emerge that will abstract Kubernetes and make it finally usable platform for almost everybody except instead of selected few. So we will see those layers on top of Kubernetes. And the best example to me, uh, and maybe the first one that really did it right would be Google Cloud Run that says, hey, you want your application running? Hey, brilliant, give me an image and I will run it for you. I will run Kubernetes behind the scenes, but you don't have to know about it anymore. So making it invisible for majority of users, just like hypervisors are invisible today for majority of users. When you create a virtual machine, you don't think about hypervisors, they're just there, they're doing the work. The same thing will happen to Kubernetes. The fourth one, I believe, will be a lot of focus around tracing. We are all adopting microservices or adopting microservices we had a deep dive this year in 2020 into monitoring and observability. And then now the next wave will be about tracing. How can we actually understand what is really going on on networking layer, on request layer between all those hundreds or thousands of services running in our cluster? That is a missing piece. And not missing as if there are no tools, but that will explode. That will become the, one of the major subjects we will be talking in 2021. And finally, the last one I have is that I think that we will finally start seeing some sort of standardizations, especially around the APIs. Because if you look at Kubernetes and the ecosystem right now, it's, it's a kind of wild west. I need to pick 20, 50, 100 different components. And if I ever choose to switch from one to another, that is becoming a nightmare. And we can see the glimpse of those standardizations, for example, in SMI, uh, Service Mesh Interface. 
that provides that layer of, of abstraction. Hey, this is the interface and you can use any service mesh you want. Doesn't really matter because you're not talking anymore uh, with network, uh, with vendor specific uh, language. You're talking to this interface and then you can have one, two, three, five thousand components that are consuming the messages you're sending to that interface. So standardization is a key. If we don't have that, we are going to continue being very fragmented, uh, especially within containers and, and Kubernetes area of in influence. Victor, thank you for sharing these predictions with us. I would love to have you or somebody from CodeFresh uh, again on the show in the December of 2021 to see how many of these predictions turn out to be true and get your predictions for the next year. So once again, thank you. Thank you so much.